Hi everyone, I have got my latest Transcend box. I am super, super excited to open this up and see what's in here. I hope that you stick around and join me. I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. Thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. It means the world to me that you stop in and visit from time to time and spend some of your time with me. It's it just really means so much to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you click on that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join me. Don't forget to click on that notification bell and give this video a thumbs up. It not only helps my channel grow, it helps me grow as well. And again, just thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. It means the world to me. So anyway, today I have got a Transcend unboxing. I'm going to pick up this box again, but it's getting pretty heavy. So there you go. This quickly became one of my favorite, favorite clothing subscription boxes, and I am so glad that I finally tried it. Everything that you need to know about Transcend, I'm going to put in this little information card up here. Well, it's going to take you to a different video, which will kind of explain everything that you need to know about Transcend. I'll have more in my description below. Uh, also in my description below will be the link to, uh, if you use my link and you haven't tried Transcend before, you will get 20% off your first box. It'll also give me 20% off my box. So that is super, super awesome. Um, and again, anything that you need to know, you can always ask me questions. Transcend is owned by EverEve. And if you go on their site, you can, uh, and sign up for an account on both of them. You can put things in your wish list. And so you stylists can pick things from there. Plus they can see what they've already sent you. So it's just really, really fun. I really love doing this. So anyway, I'm not going to do a full unboxing, but I will show you the box and some items in it. And then I will try to get right to the try on, save some time. So this first thing that comes out of the box is going to be here comes the fun it is going to be a little note from your stylist i've had stephanie khan and Depper Z from the maple Grove store and they have both done phenomenal jobs for me just great great jobs so this is going to tell you everything that you need to know once you get it open um going to have this note from your stylist oh and i got somebody new i've got Kristen r but still from the uh, ever eve store in maple Grove. So just a quick note from your stylist. Inside this, you are going to have a list of the items that are in your box and the prices. And again, a note from your stylist. And she's put together three different outfits for me. So I don't know if that's going to focus for you. Just explaining a little bit, maybe about her thoughts on putting those items together or if she's taken something in this box and wants you to pair it with something you already bought, it's going to be in there. And then you're going to get these packages. This one is super heavy. They have these little stickers. This one is Playmore. You can see I got some frayed denim in there. Got some colors. So that's looking promising. And I've only got two bundles in here, so that third item, the third outfit must be in one of these. But first, gratitude. And this one is just so, so important to just be gracious and be thankful for everything that you have spiritually, physically, mentally, just everything. Just uh, don't take things for granted. Be thankful for what you have. Gratitude. And you're also going to get this uh, prepaid mailer, which goes through the United States Postal Service to return anything that you didn't want or if you need to return it for a different size. So anyway, let's get on to the try-on. I'll try to link as much uh, information on the clothing in my try-on as well. And we will be right back.
Cheers, everyone. So anyway, it's hump day. Like I need a reason, right? So anyway, I have got the best iced coffee right here. Accidentally dropped the one that I got at Dunkin' Donuts on the way home. So I decided to make my own for my, my recap. So I got this Michael's Salted Caramel Celtic Irish Cream. Got this on sale at the local liquor store for $5.99. It is so good. I've got some Javalier Caramel Macchiato Coffee for my Kerrig. Made that. Put it in the freezer. Got it nice and cold. Put that in it. Some, um, some cream. A little bit of extra sugar because Nancy likes it sweet. Blended it up with some ice. We got a party. I'm ready to go. So anyway, had so much fun doing this uh, try on with you. So thank you everyone for joining me. Uh, of course, I've got some probably fit issues and some questions and look forward to your comments as always. So let's get right into it. So first was this uh, melon, melon tank. This is from Michael Stars. It's an extra small. Normally it is $78. Um, because I do have that 2020 pass, my cost would be $70.20. If I were to keep four or my, more items, it would be $63.18. And I don't think this patent was showing up at all during the try on, but it's a really nice tie dye. It's got the starburst here. Um, I think I probably would have preferred this in a darker color because otherwise it just kind of washes me out because I'm probably lighter than this is. But I think it is really cute. But my friends, the bat wings were back big time in this so for that i mean the rest of it had a really nice fit at the bottom i really like the style but for me i'm going to pass because of the uh, bat wings so next we have the uh, good american jeans and these i was like surprised how heavy they are these are a heavy heavy denim they're called the good american good flare i think so it's got a nice wide bell bottom here well, I guess you call them flares. You don't call them bell bottoms anymore, do you? But they're at this wide hem. Um, for me, with the wedges that I, I was wearing, they were the perfect length. I think if I wanted to wear like my earth shoes that have more like an inch and a half, I would probably have to consider maybe hemming them or maybe tacking them up if I wanted to um, wear shorter shoes with it. But for the uh, wedges, it was a perfect length. It's a regular five pocket style. Don't get me started on the pockets. I just do not understand why we have to have pockets that are so big that go halfway down your thigh. I just don't understand it. But that said, I do think that it made my butt look bigger. Well, not bigger. Well, yeah, maybe bigger. But it didn't make it look as saggy as some of the other jeans do. It didn't flatten me out like some of them. So anyway, I like the fit on these. I thought they were a really nice fit. They're just a really, really heavy weight. So that kind of threw me off. So, okay, good American. So these are normally $175. So my cost on them would be the $157.50. And if I were to keep four or more items, it would be $141.75, which really brings it down because I do think it's a good fit. I think it's a good quality. I think this will probably last years. It's a size 0, 25. I don't know. But anyway, I do think they had a nice fit. So just wondered what you your thoughts are on that which brings us to the next denim item which was the Hudson skirt this also is normally $175 it is on sale for $89.79 I think it's crossed out to be it's called the Lulu skirt it's in a size 26 my cost would be the $80.99 and if I keep four or more items that brings it down to $72.89. So they had a nice kind of like a faded wash, a little bit of whiskering, just the normal five pocket style. It's got the raw hem and then the fraying detail which is kind of what I think is throwing me off um, the back. It's got that nice yoke detail, it's got the nice pockets, it's got that little kick pleat right there so it doesn't really go up too high. Um, Again, I mean, I think it fit around the waist and the hips and the belly. I'm just not really sure. And I, I think what's throwing me off is that fraying. If it's maybe the fraying is too much for me. Um, if it was something that I did decide to keep, then maybe I would just kind of, I like the raw edge, but maybe I would just kind of trim some of, some of this off, you know? So anyway, let me know your thoughts on that. Oh, the next item. I love, love, love this item. And this was uh, one of the sale items that was in my wish list. Uh, well, I don't think it was on sale, but it, it's in my wish list because I love it. But anyway, it's got like these 
it's not a halter, but it does have these kind of cutaway shoulders. But I do have that little clip that you can put on the back of your bra to kind of squeeze the straps in so they don't show. I was trying to show this in the video. It's got this elasticized neckline, so I think that's really nice looking. It's got the open V right here. These buttons are really some metal snaps. Love the print on this. It's uh, the Colin and Camo. It's a nice kind of silky material. It's longer in the back. I think on the front when I untucked it, it just kind of, you know, looked really big in through here. But I think I would probably always wear this with a front tuck. I really like that look and the back because it does have that where it goes up here. I think it, it does make it fall nice in the back. So again, this was $68. Uh, right off the bat, it would be $61.20. And if I buy four or more items, it would be $55.08. And this was, um, I don't think I said what it was. It's Peyton Jensen. It's an extra small. And they're calling it the Carly Camo Snap Front Top. So this is really, really pretty. I am loving that. Next we have the Knot Tank. And this one kind of threw me off too. So anyway, this is, uh, it's a nice soft material. This is, I think, by Sanctuary. It's an extra small color black and they're just calling it the perfect knot tank it's $44 so right off the bat that brings it down to $39.60 35 64 if I were to keep four or more items it's got a nice scoop tank I don't think I had bat wings here but it, if I did it would have probably been just minimal so that wasn't bad I think what was throwing me off on this was it's got that knotted bottom right there and I didn't want to play with it to see if it came undone um, or not to do it differently. I was trying to wear it with that skirt and try to do a front tuck, but it just wasn't coming out right. And I think the the asymmetrical design on the skirt was kind of throwing me off trying to put the black with it because it just kind of looked crooked. And then when I put the white one with it, it still looked crooked. So I might put this on with just a regular pair of jeans and just kind of play with it. Um, this wasn't really like in the center, so it was off to the side a little bit. I really don't like it when it's like right in the center because, well, you know what I think about it. But um, off to the side usually isn't bad, but I really couldn't tell on this. So any help you can give me on this would be greatly appreciated. Next we have the kindness tee. And I think I had the same issue with this, trying to wear it with that skirt. But I do like this graphic tee. I love the message. I'm just sad that we have to wear things like this to kind of people to look at and to remember to be kind to other people I mean how hard is it to be nice my go my goodness so anyway um, I don't know if I would pull for it because it is so white and I would just be afraid that I would mess it up oh, I think it's just a little bit of lint but it is nice um, and again this is by Suburban Riot it's an extra small I think it did have a good fit for me it's uh, $38, so right off the bat, that makes it $34.20 and $30.78 if I were to keep four or more items. So let me know your thoughts on this one. Next, we have the tie-dye skirt. And this one, I think I, it's, I just don't think it's for me. I love the pattern. I love the concept. It's got these it's ribbing details, which I'm hoping that you can see. It's got the tie-dye. It's got the ribbing. It's got seams that kind of start at the waistline and then go in so it kind of gives just a little bit of contour in the front and the back i think what what threw me off is the, the asymmetrical design so when i had the black top on it the top looked crooked and then when i switched to the kindness tee then this part was still that design so it just kind of made me feel like i was more crookeder than i was if that makes sense because i got that sciatica i kind of always um lean more than other people do because of that so i think this kind of accent accentuated that on me i think it uh, she sent this in a small and thank goodness because yeah this was not going to squeeze into an extra small i mean it was tight going on but it is really really soft and it felt good on i just didn't like it when i looked in the uh the mirror or the monitor so this is by red hoat it's a size small it's normally 98 dollars and they're just calling it the ribbed tight dye skirt so again 98 dollars so right off the bat it would be 88 dollars 20 cents and for four more items it would be 79 dollars and 38 cents i really like the concept of this i love the ribbing i just i love the detail i just think the fit wasn't right for me 
lastly and this is my favorite item even though people are going to say nancy it's too short you're too old you just had a birthday you're even older than you were a couple of days ago but i love this pattern isn't it crazy that i was trying to like the uh, the cheater like the animal prints and the snakes loving the colors in this with the brown kind of like the brown the copper and the brown just really really pretty and a little bit of black just a really nice detail this is by sunday in brooklyn it's an extra small it is normally $88. They're just calling it the snake print dress. So right off the bat, my cost would be $79.20. If I were to keep four or more items, that would make it $71.28. So I think that's pretty nice for a dress. Like I said, I'm loving the pattern on this. It's got the elasticized waist that goes all the way around. So you can kind of bring it up either right to your natural waist or a little bit above your, your natural waist or below, no matter depending on where it fits on you and then kind of pull it up and then bring this down like a little like that blouse in effect if that's the right word um, I thought it was ruched on one side but it's only going to be this one side that's got the ruching right here on along the side line so it just kind of kind of helps hide things that you want to hide if you know what I mean um, it is shorter than I thought it would be but maybe I'm taller than I thought I was and it's got this little like a mock wrap here so it goes up a little bit in the center it's got this lining the lining it's in the back only so i had a heck of a time trying it on because i just assumed the lining was in the front and oh my gosh i i, I almost put my back out trying to put it on and i hadn't even had a, a sip of this yet but anyway this uh lining is in the back not sure why but because it's not see-through at all but again i just i am loving the pattern on this and i know it's shorter than it should be on me but it, it just seems like sometimes you just want to dress dress younger than you are or you want to look fun and i don't know playful i i don't know i mean you know most days these days i'm in work by myself anyway so it's not like anybody sees me okay maybe the ups man the male lady but that's about it so anyway i'm loving uh you know it's got this uh, just a rounded scoop neckline here I didn't have any bat wings i think under the arms had a really nice fit so anyway i am really loving this so i would love to hear your opinions if i can get away with wearing this so i think i'm starting to ramble so i'm going to cut it short now so i just want to thank everyone for watching i appreciate you more than you know i hope everyone gives this video a thumbs up i look forward to your comments and it's wednesday it's time to have a drink everyone have a good week we'll chat again later Bye bye